Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is guys I'm back here with another Football Manager X 2020 experiment video and this is the second episode of the Father and Son experiment. So we have went two years into the future now to the 30th of June 2022 and we're going to see what is happening. Well, first of all, I want to see the leagues that are happening. Uh, what well, well, what's happened in the leagues in the last two seasons? So we left off right. So Celtic won the league again. Rangers in second. Hibs in third. Quite a close one there at, between second and third. But Motherwell this time finishing eighth in the league. Um, that might be disappointing for obviously Motherwell. And, well, obviously, I suppose staying up was, they definitely will stay up there, but at the same time, it might have been, Gary Mundo Senior might have been sacked, you never know. So let's see what the current, the end of the current season finished. So, Motherwell came sixth, again, the same as the first season. Celtic won the league and Hibs finished second. No surprise there, Celtic winning the league again. Hamilton were relegated. Uh, so, let's have a look at the Championship. What happened in the last two seasons? So, Dundee United won promotion. Did they win? Oh, what happened the first season? Oh, they came third. So, in the second season, as you can see, Dundee United in the league, Alla and the Broth were relegated. Actually, after finishing second, I'm sure, yes, in the first season, they get relegated in the second season, and a Broth finished fifth and got relegated. Very surprising there um, for those two. So, we're going to League One, Airdrie won, no, sorry, there, I'm getting muddled up there, so... As you can see, Falkirk won promotion as champions. Airdrie won promotion in the playoffs. Interesting that, uh, but relegated. Alwa won promotion back up, and Partick Thistle won promotion as well through the playoffs. And Edinburgh City were relegated, and that will take us into the current season. Um, we two. So, Edinburgh City won promotion that season. Decent finish for Albion Rovers. And the last season, Stranra were champions um, of the division. So, let's see what's happening with both Gary Murdoch Senior and Gary Murdoch Junior. If they're still at Motherwell. Um, so, nope. Well, Gary Mullet Senior is definitely not here. What happened to him? So he was sacked after one year and 178 days. Uh, sacked on the 19th of 12, 2020. So he got at least about a year and a half, just under a year and a half, um, in the job. So what is he actually doing now? He's a manager of Dunfermline Athletic, and he was out of management for. Fifth, lasting 15 months before he got the job there. Still a two-star reputation. That's oh, career stats overview. Yeah, he's bought 10 players. So he sold Richard Tate to Hamilton. Hmm, that's a weird one. And this will kick over, brought him in to Dunfermline. So he's sort of fallen down Scottish football a wee bit, but I think he might do it all right. He's not the first manager to be sacked there, so he's done. It could have been worse, he could have. At least he's kept his job here in a year and a half, but it might grow in the future. So let's have a look at senior squad. And see if Gary Murdoch's Jr. is in here. 
Uh, I don't actually see him. We will look at the transfer history to see if he's left the club. So we'll go back to where it was the first season, or oh, so the second season even. So a lot of free transfers came into the club in July, August, and then one, well, yeah, it seemed to be a lot of free transfers apart from this one from Aberdeen. So going out 1.2 mil. Yeah, you can see a lot of players went left the club, and there he is, Gary Mungle Jr., the first or the second, 2021, went to Manchester United, he was in the under-18s, it's weird because he was, he played for Liverpool on the other save, um, I done, so, he's not started for Manchester United, valued at 4.6 million, contracted to 2025, so he's had 21 league appearances and two goals from Motherwell. What happened there? So well in his career in Motherwell. In the second season, just, uh, played a lot of reserve football, but he actually, um, that's where the real started. But he's at Manchester United, he went for 675k and hasn't played really anything for Manchester United in the last two seasons um, well obviously the last season because 2022-23 season has even kicked off so maybe he will be loaned out or maybe he'll start to perform uh, massively let's see how much he's actually on contract info so he's on £12,000 per week well He'll get £6,750 per week after tax. And what's his stats like? Some of them not shown, but um, attributes. Uh, for I keep history after retirement because I'm not sure if he'll go into management but see he's 19 years old now it's done quite decent for um, the move also didn't really play too much for obviously uh, Manchester United in the first season it says career milestones he's won the Euro Cup which is the Europa League and oh Named Scotland on the 20s captain and he was a, the runner up in the under 20 World Cup final. Let's see what happened there. Oh, a beat off of England. That is probably a hard one to take for Scotland, especially. So, I want to go into 2021. How did group stages all groups? So, seems to have. Got an under 20s level, so top of the group went again in Ghana and New Zealand and North Korea in the group. Uh, the second round, first knockout round, beat Germany's under 20s and penalties. Oh, that's so quarter finals, how did they get on? Two each against Argentina and knocked them out on penalties as well. Semi final beat USA's under 20s 2 0. And then obviously, well, third place, we know that'll be, but the final was 3 0 to England's under 20s. That is an unfortunate result for Scotland. Um, so, do it. Done well for the under twenties. How much? Um, well, for the fact that the to get into a final. So how much did games has he played? Twelve under twenty one caps for Scotland, scoring nine goals. That is massive for a young player. Um. So he actually scored his first senior goal in the Betfred Cup. Um. Under nineteen Champions Cup, so 
it won it. Actually, so what? When did he move to Manchester United? So 2021 he moved. Um, so was that? Con yeah. So 2021. So that was last year. So a uh, the previous season. So I've got the milestones. As you can see, yes, under 19's Champions Cup. So, past winners. Let's see how they got on group stages. All groups. Top of the group. Oh, look at that. Six games played, six wins, zero drawn, zero lost. 23 goals are scored and only 3 conceded, which is a 20 goal difference and 18 points. Absolutely smashed that group and first qualifying round, so that's that's the qualifiers. I don't know that nah, they wouldn't have went through there. So it would have been the first knockout round. So where was Manchester United in the first knockout round? Nowhere to be seen there. So it must have been the second knockout round. Yes, yeah, so they beat Zebra under 20s 3 1 from Italy. Never heard of the team, but there we go. And they beat FC Portals under 19 3 0 in the quarterfinals. Um, that must have. That was huge. Celtic's under 20s got quite far. Oh my god. There we go. They beat Manchester City's under 18s 3 2. And Celtic's under 18s beat a Liverpool 2 0. And in the final, Manchester United. Manchester United's under 18s beat Celtic under 18s 3 0. Oof. That must have been. Some run for both of their clubs. So obviously we'll check UEFA. No, um, sorry, Euro European Champions Cup. So Real Madrid are the holders. They beat Barcelona and all um, in the El Clasico final, and it was a one 0 win. Played it. Uh, I think that was by Munich Stadium. It must have been. Yeah, it must be because it's 75,000 seer. Who won the Euro? Oh, actually, well, we'll see who won the previous thing. Barcelona won it back to back against Atletico Madrid. The. What was the score in that final? 1 0 to Barcelona. Now, the Euro Cup, known as the Europa League. So Arsenal won it in 2020-2021 season, 1-0 uh, against Wolfsburg, and oh, in the current oh, pre end of last season, it was Manchester United winning 3-1 against Monaco, the English Premier Division. So Manchester City winning the league another two times. Five years in a row they've now won it. Well, Liverpool being runners up. Three of those. Manchester United in the 20 season. Ah, oh, well, we already knew that, but Manchester United not really been anywhere else to be seen. So let's go to. Where is it? So. Alright, we'll look at the championship to actually see what's happened in the last couple of seasons. Newcastle going down there, but running up, getting promotion back with Norwich City and whoever else. What's happened in League One? Sundown got promotion the first season, Wigan in the second, and Barnsley there. Well, Preston, Portsmouth, and Coventry all going up there. I don't know if Wimbledon did. Um, in 
week two. Ooh. Oh, it's Barnes. I thought I said Burnley the second. So not really much surprises here, to be honest yet. Um, but hopefully when we come back, basically what we'll do is we will go three years into the future to 2025 and we'll see what is happening with both Gary Murdoch Jr. and Gary Murdoch Sr. So I hope to join you very soon at the 30th of June 2025. So we are now on at the 30th of June 2025 in this FM 2020 experiment Father and Son. So let's see where uh, Obviously, Gary Moore Senior as well. Actually, before we see where anybody is, I want to see what they what the leagues looked the last time behind off in Scotland, obviously, because they've got it unlocked. So, Celtic won the league again, Hibs in second, and Motherwell were relegated. Oof. That is quite a disappointing thing to see. So. And the next season, Celtic win again. Hibs coming second. They're doing really well. Hearts and third. Both of them are doing really well. And then Hibs again in second. That is mental with Celtic winning the league once again. How many titles have they won by this point? Fifty-six. So they've. They've really turned up the pace, so going back to the, it would have been that season, I think, oh, it's 20, yep, it would have been that season, so the film went straight, won the league, Hamilton second, Rafe Rovers won the playoffs, party this one, Alla getting relegated. So then the next season, Air were champions, Motherwell finished fourth from a playoff spot. How did they fall? Airdrie getting relegated and they're both. How did Motherwell end up falling through the division? So Hamilton won the championship in last, the current season, or the last season or whatever. Motherwell finishing fourth again. Just couldn't get out of the division. So they're still stuck in the championship and it will be their third season so week one how did that go in the last couple of years uh, a brof won it Fairbury going up and promo they were promoted uh, Falkirk won the following seasons, champions and Clyde get promoted. Breaking and Edinburgh City got relegated. Hardwick Vessel winning the last seasons. League one with seventy three points and Alla got promoted with them. So League two. Uh, how did that go the last few seasons? So Breaking one. Division uh, won League Two, Fed in the City getting promoted. Montrose won it then, and Cove Rangers getting promoted. Stennis Muir won it, and Albion Rovers got relegated uh, last season. So, they're out of division. And what happened in England? So, Manchester City still dominating, haven't lost title. Manchester United haven't really been anywhere. It's been more, most of Liverpool and Tottenham and Chelsea that have been uh, dominating the English Premier League. So, first person we'll look at is Gary Murdoch Senior. See where he is. He's still the manager of Dunfermline since 2022. 
He's done a looks like he's done a relatively good job. League wins won, league promotions won, and league relegations won. So they've actually kept him on even though they were relegated. Um Stats are starting to go up a bit. His man management and motivation is both 19. He's having a milestones. Since being at Dunfermline. Let's see. Finished six in the first season, runner up in the Tunnels Calmaver Challenge Cup. Qualified for the second. Was knocked out in the second round in Betfred Cup in 2022. My Brooks Championship Manager for August. Uh, manager of the Month award there. He won the championship. Obviously got relegated from the Premiership but kept his job. That's amazing. Finished fifth in the championship and they've kept his job. Hmm. Very interesting. So next one we'll look at is Gary Murdoch Jr. Still at Manchester United. He's only had 15 appearances, he's worth 26 mil. He's scoring an international goal as well against the USA and debut was against the USA. So let me have a look at his career stats. So he didn't play in the first, oh well actually we already, I think we already seen that. So, he had four appearances, no goals there but played, must have been in, that was a non-competitive. The second season he's had one match, then he's, last season, yeah, 25 season, he's had ten appearances, scoring three times and one assist, a 7.04 average rating so stats seem to be going up but even in the save that originally done the original experiment which didn't record by this point it was really really good I don't even know what's happened let me go to transfer stats to see no clubs are actually interested He got a new contract. Oh man. Need to go back into Manchester United. Look at the squad. Oh, we got an off. Solskjaer is still the manager. He's on the bench because, like, like, the staff playing him is like, he can play when he's back in midfield. Yeah, he's a decent enough player, but the, the only thing is. He's had 14 caps for Scotland, scoring 6 goals. So he's only 22, but surely he should be breaking through in that first team at Manchester. Manchester United, well, Greenwood's there. 60 miles, so it's got to be difficult to break into the first team at Manchester United for him. But, as you say, well because of this, look at the stats right, they're really good now, or most of them definitely have a pace and stamina, strength's decent enough, natural fitness 11 to 18, but agility 14 to 20, acceleration 10 to 17, work rate 15 to 20, vision 14 to 19, teamwork 17 to 20, he's leadership 13 to 20, oof, Termination 12 to 17, decisions 11 to 17. So he's really, really starting to improve as a player, but will he stay 
at Manchester United because he's not getting the game time. He's only had 15 appearances, but that could come down to injuries. Has he had injuries? Yes, he has. But he's literally the the not big injury. Like he's only the longest he's ever been out was six weeks, and that was a training injury, and that was a broken hand on the 25th first 2023. Impact from fall. He's not had an injury in a while for over a year, so he doesn't really regularly get injuries, but he's doing okay at the moment. See, I would rather see him getting game time, of course, but we need to wait and see what happens in the next uh, uh, the next episode so I'm going to round this episode off here because I think the next episode should we go another three years into the future or another five years it's up to you so remember to comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching everybody and we'll be back with another Football Manager 2020 experience soon I'm signing out